I was just in shock. Somebody could look like that. It was, it was scary, honestly. Dynamic football player with elite athleticism, freak of nature-sized hands, and the ability to be a one-man game changer. These are facts we know about the star wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. Considered by most to be the top receiver in the entire National Football League, Hopkins is no doubt an impressive athlete who's exciting to watch. But besides the common knowledge of how great he is on the field, what don't we know about this top tier receiver? Since we realized you wouldn't be much of a fan if you knew next to nothing about this outstanding player, we decided it's time to update your knowledge. So, here are 9 things you never knew about DeAndre Hopkins. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Hopkins. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 9. He also played basketball. Is there anything that this star can't do? Apparently, the athlete's skills also extend to the basketball court where he had a brief but fantastic career before deciding to stick with football. While he was on the Clemson football team, he was also a regular feature on their basketball team. The amazing thing is that he was a four-star recruit in football and basketball while in high school and ranked the number two basketball player in the state of South Carolina. You know you have to be really good to get this sort of recognition, and he really was. Hopkins had 20.1 points, four steals per game, 8.4 assists, and six rebounds while he was a sophomore in high school. However, in all seven games that he played, he never scored. Still, his stats showed that he was one of the best athletes at the time. But then he had to pick between basketball and football after one season. We all know what that choice was, and we're glad he decided to focus on football. Number 8. Hopkins once dated Iggy Azalea Iggy Azalea is one of Hopkins' famous exes, as he has been in several relationships. The romance started on Instagram, when Azalea was flirting with Hopkins. He was kind of her rebound after she broke up with the NBA player Nick Young in 2016. At the time, he was playing for the Houston Texans. However, this relationship was also really short and Iggy Azalea admitted that they couldn't continue this because Hopkins wanted her to stop hoeing around. Azalea wasn't ready to change anything about her life or ways to please Hopkins and that was the end of their short romance. However, this didn't stop the rumors from coming up in 2019 where Hopkins was accused of dating only white women. The media took it up after a woman started the accusation on social media. They all claim that he never dates black women, especially as most of his pictures feature only white females. His high-profile romances have also been with only white females. He never came out to talk about this. Number 7. His mother lost her eyesight Back in 2002, Sabrina Greenlee was the victim of a domestic dispute that changed her life forever. Another woman thought it was a good idea to pour a mixture of lye and bleach on Sabrina's face in a dispute over a man she was dating at the time. It was a terrible acid attack that had her skin coming off her face, neck and back within seconds. In a matter of minutes, she could feel the white curtain moving over her eyes. The effect of this acid attack was so intense that she had to remain in a medically induced coma for several weeks while the doctors tried to save her as much as they could. Sadly, this incident took her eyes while the physical damage was corrected as much as possible. Hopkins was only 10 years old when this happened, and he didn't understand how big the situation was. Due to this experience, Hopkins and his mother started a non-profit organization called Speaking Mentally, outwardly opening opportunities towards healing or smooth. It's all about stopping domestic violence, which Sabrina has first-hand experience of. Number 6. Father died when he was a baby Hopkins had a really tough childhood, starting with losing his father when he was just 5 months old. His father Steve had been involved in a car accident on a rainy afternoon. Subsequently, his mother had to work two jobs to support and raise him and his siblings on her own. However, this NFL player didn't know about his father until he was six years old. His grandmother told him all about the man whose DNA he carried, and he burst into tears. Although he had no idea who his father was, he knew that other people had one. Still, that didn't stop his family from telling him a lot of stories about his father, especially the fact that they're similar in so many ways. Both the late Steve and his son had the habit of waking up in the middle of the night, being fashion icons, and eating fried chicken with jelly. In fact, he was so big on fashion that he would drive with his shades and coat on. Number 5. His mom still sees his game Yeah, I know I said his mom was involved in a dispute that left her blind, but her son still makes sure she sees his games. So, how does Hopkins do this? Well, Sabrina could not watch any of his touchdowns or make impressive performances at the University of Clemson. However, she still attends his games, especially now that he's with the Arizona Cardinals. 
Every time Hopkins makes a touchdown, he celebrates in a way that makes his mom a part of the game. For every touchdown, the NFL star hands the ball over to his mom, just so she could feel him. It's his way of connecting with her on those special moments. Number 4. Has had two brand nicknames so far DeAndre Hopkins has always had a thing for taking up funny nicknames from his family members. One of the first nicknames he got was Nuck. The strange thing about this is that it's actually a brand name. As a baby, Hopkins had a stable relationship with his mother, and this continued until he became an adult. Nuck was the pacifier that was always in his mouth as an infant. He loved the pacifier so much that the nickname stuck. Even his teammates still call him Nuck when he hangs out with them. The other nickname that has sort of faded away is Ralph. As you can guess, this was another brand name, this time born out of his love for fashion. While he was younger, Hopkins was crazy about fashion, enough to go shopping for colorful scarves or anything he thought would make a fashion statement. At a point, he got the nickname Ralph because he wore so much polo. However, Hopkins was all about doing whatever he wanted and wearing anything he saw as good enough, no matter what others said. He still has plans to start his clothing line after retirement from football. It will be interesting to see what he will come up with. Number 3. He was a great player at Daniel High School Just before Hopkins went into the University of Clemson, he was a star at DW Daniel High School in South Carolina. He was a star defensive back and also a wide receiver. In these positions, he stood out from the others and had an amazing run, which no one that witnessed it would forget in a hurry. During this time at his high school, Hopkins scored 5 defensive touchdowns and intercepted 28 passes. He also had 18 touchdowns and then posted 57 receptions for more than 1,000 yards while on the offensive side of the ball. Pretty decent for a high school run. Number 2. He is not on good terms with his baby mama In 2019, Hopkins had a child with Amina Blue, an Instagram model he dated for a while. This was during the time that criticisms about his dating choices were going through the roof. However, while she was giving birth, the wide receiver was at a hangout. This was already a sign that their relationship had hit the rocks, and even until 2020, they didn't have a smooth relationship. He had his Halloween party in 2019, and Blue was significantly absent. They had a brief social media exchange, where she called Hopkins a dog on Instagram. Number 1. He is the highest paid non-quarterback Not many NFL players can negotiate their contract extension themselves, but Hopkins did in September while he was with the Arizona Cardinals. He was able to extend his contract of five years, and this was worth more than $50 million. What is really incredible about this is that Hopkins dumped his agent just before this and negotiated 90% of the contract without any help. He plans on moving into management when he retires from playing. His fee of $54.4 million makes him the highest paid player in the NFL, who's not a quarterback. And that brings us to the end of today's list. Which of these facts is the most interesting to you? Are there any others that you think deserve a spot on this list? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a big fan of DeAndre Hopkins. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.